City College students volunteer at the Channel Islands Marine Wildlife Institute, a sea lion rehabilitation center in Gaviota. The institute, or Simway for short, cares for six sea lions of all ages for eight to ten weeks. Um, so Simway rescues, rehabilitates, educates, and does research. Um, our core work is the rescue of stranded marine mammals off of the beaches in Ventura and Santa Barbara County and then we bring those animals to our facility and they get rehabilitated and ultimately released back into the wild. City College volunteers get calls about six sea lions on or around local beaches. So then one of us volunteers will come out and we'll go observe the animal. Uh, we'll see what type of species it is, we'll see you know what the health condition of it is, has it been, uh, does it have any interactions with humans as in like were they used for research or anything like that, have any tags or you know have any um, fish tricks in them or anything like that. After volunteers rescue the sea lions, they paint three lines on their heads. Symbols are also shaved on their sides and flippers are tagged with an ID number. Females are tagged on the right fin and males on the left. They are brought into the center with seaborne diseases, like the San Miguel sea lion virus or seal pox, causing bumps and blisters on the face, neck, and flippers. Volunteers give the sea lions baths and a sanitizer solution to help clean the blisters. So all of our patients go through a series of deworming um, in the marine environment. They get a lot of different parasites. They get ectoparasites, which mostly we see are lice. Um, they get roundworm, they get lungworm, hookworm, tapeworm, nasal mites, so they have a whole plethora of things that they naturally get in the wild. To remedy the diseases, the sea lions are given various medications that are stuffed inside Kaplan and herring fish. The sea lions eat about 150 pounds of fish daily. Meals are portioned to help them gain blubber at a healthy rate, preparing them for survival in the wild. Once they are fully recovered, volunteers go out to the Channel Islands to release the sea lions. So the release is the best part. Uh, we actually partner with Island Packers out at uh, Ventura Harbor, and uh, they take us out to the Channel Islands. We go to either Santa Rosa or Santa Cruz, and it's just such a wonderful experience because it's you see these animals come in super thin, super you know emaciated, don't have that much weight to them, and you get them into these big sausagey kind of bodies where they just have all this fat and they just look so healthy and happy. All students are welcome to volunteer at the Institute. 